This week's Safety Toolbox Talk is on a verse called Accident Factors. Accident Factors on our job sites in the construction industry. Many years ago in 1970 when OSHA first wrote the standards, there were 50 plus tradesmen a day dying on construction job sites. And today in 2017, we can expect as many as five a day to perish on our job sites. There are two verses that OSHA uses in their blogs. One is called Unsafe Work Acts by Tradesmen in the Industry, and the other one is called Worksite Job Unsafe Conditions. So when we're on our job sites and we're thinking about unsafe acts by construction workers, what comes to mind? Could it be these iron workers up on top of the building, tied off and or maybe not tied off? Or maybe somebody working in that boom lift where the manufacturer says they should be tied off 100% of the time, but we know that 100% of the time these guys are not tied off, which is an unsafe act. Looking at unsafe conditions on the job sites, we've got haul roads that need to be maintained at all times for our equipment to roll on a level terrain rather than a rutted terrain. As we know, ruts in themselves can cause wiggle wobble in our equipments and our, our manpower can end up getting hurt. So unsafe acts, hmm, going up a ladder and leaning out too far, the ladder falls over. What was the unsafe act? He was leaning too far on the ladder and she fell over and maybe she fell over on these rebar here. Now by law, these rebar need to be covered with rebar caps. If they're not, our individual on that ladder who was performing an unsafe act could have fallen on that rebar and impaled his body. And even these iron workers, are they always tied off 100% of the time? And if not, if they do take a fall of six feet or greater, being 65% water, they could end up impaling themselves or crushing a bone, breaking a bone, something of that nature. There are a lot of unsafe acts in construction, using bad tools, uh, no guards on these tools, uh, not wearing a respirator maybe while cutting brick with this apparatus here, um, not being able to identify what's in that can with the hazard communication label. You know, unsafe conditions. There's a lot of things in regard to site logistics. Where am I staging my material? And do I have clear access for all of my manpower to move about without slips, trips, and falls? So this week, we would like to identify what tasks we're doing, what hazards are related to the tasks that we're doing, and then how do we do them in a safe acting mode rather than taking any type of a shortcut and doing our work in an unsafe manner again an unsafe act or again what are the conditions of the environment that i'm going to be working in